channel so today I have this Tiana Taylor transformation for you guys so she just came out with this look today it's her album release party and she released these pictures and today is the 18th today is Thursday and I just filmed this video as soon as she posted these pictures I love this look she totally killed it I'm a fan of hers ever since she was like Byron well when she was saying Byron I didn't really know who she was but when she came out you know with that video with her body and she was like <laughs> with Kanye West you know she killed it so I love her music um I'm so super excited for her new album and yeah so as soon as she dropped this look with the yellow you know trench coat looking real Walter Whitish with the yellow ones onesie on I said oh she killed it so her hair was so cute I did my best to recreate this look let me tell you it took me about three times okay and I oh to get this hair right but I finally did it if you guys want to see how I transform into Tiana Taylor how you want it up and face down with the loving <laughs> sorry <laughs> then just keep watching don't forget to subscribe like this video comment if you want to win some free lashes because I have my own lash company it's called Glam Brat the link is down below if you want to shop they're only eight dollars if you subscribe and leave a comment you will be entered in my giveaway to win a pair of free lashes the giveaway is still open. Not a lot of people have entered, so you have a really high chance of winning. I'm a small YouTuber. Support me. Support black business. Go ahead and subscribe. Stick around for my channel. Become one of my supporters. I thank you guys for clicking to watch my video. Go ahead and watch until the end. If you want to see this bomb transformation, then just keep watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe before we get started. Now, let's jump into the video, guys. dried right now let me go put some lotion on these ashy arms all right so I put lotion on my arms and now this is like the third time that I was doing the hairstyle so I just decided to jump right in and do a voiceover for this part now I am just eyeballing it and I gave up on doing the part super super straight because again like I said this is my third time so you guys don't struggle like me just watch how I did it and you should be fine so I just parted it with my finger, made sure that the buns were, you know, going to be even. That's why I'm holding up the hair like this. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and put the one side into a ponytail before I start working with the other. And then just taking my brush. It still has a tag on it. That's why it's hanging from the... <laughs> I got it from the store. I still didn't take the tag off my brush, but... I'm sorry y'all so I'm um, taking my rat tail comb and I'm just pulling down some baby hairs that I'm gonna leave out um, applying some gel to the front of it and then just making sure it's nice and smooth like hers is in the picture because it looks really nice and sleek um, making sure that I comb out my baby hairs making sure that they lay and now just gonna take a ponytail holder and go ahead and wrap it around um, my hair right after I finish making sure it's nice and smooth and I wrap it around quite a lot like three four times or so and after um, wrapping it super tight because I don't want you know my ponytail to fall or to move I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten it and work on the next side and yeah so I'm just putting on gel brushing it making sure my baby hair is okay and it's kind of supposed to be like a zigzag part but again my parts are not straight so but you can't really tell once you do the hairstyle so just gonna continue putting on ponytail holders y'all and tighten it making sure it's tight you want your head to be like snatched if that makes sense <laughs> you want your face to be looking like it has like a facelift so taking some gel running it through with my fingers um, just to get some moisture to my hair and then wrapping it around and then I'm doing it very loosely you guys as you can see I didn't end up using my braiding hair like I wanted to just because it wasn't necessary and yeah so I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side making sure to put gel in it wrapping it around very loosely and clipping it again with my little metal alligator 
clips and yeah so it looks pretty good and then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the baby hairs this one's pretty self-explanatory just using my Gorilla Glue and my toothbrush and yeah just brushing it in and making sure it looks okay the baby hairs didn't come out exactly how I wanted them to it's because I had already put so much product in my hair that like my hair was pretty stiff because I kept putting so much gel in and around my edges because this was not the first time I did the style I had to do it take it down do it take it down and I repeated that like three times but yeah so I'm just like trying to brush the baby hairs even though they're pretty stiff but yeah so just taking it with my toothbrush I really need to get one of like those edge brushes if you guys use those edge brushes um that you get from like the hair store where like half sides of brush half sides of comb and they work let me know in the comments so I can actually um go buy one and yeah, so just using my toothbrush, making sure that the hairs are placed where they need to be. And it looks pretty good. That's the finished look. Now, I did try to fix like my lighting so it could look a little bit brighter. I had to do this style like three times. Like, I just was not getting it right. Even now, I should have did the buns further apart. I don't know what I'm doing. But, yeah, so I'm just going to do this bun, however, because at this point, however it looks, <laughs> is going to be how it's going to look. Because I could not get it for some reason. Like, now that I got the two buns, I got my third one up here. And I'm literally just twisting it. Yeah, that looks good. As long as you can see it through the middle, like, I'm cool with it. And I'm going to take ponytail holder. Because at this point, like... Alright, cool. Yeah, so... Then we got to do the back and i'm literally just gonna put it into two ponytails the lighting might look different guys because i had to do all this extra stuff with the lighting but yeah so basically two buns on the side one in the middle and now we got to do the hairs that are hanging down the bottom. And this is clip-in hair that I have. So if you guys like this video so far, go ahead and thumbs up. Now I'm going to open my clips. Clip one end. And then just twist it around. Yes, queen.
the tutorial. Good. It looks pretty good so far. Yeah, so. Let's get started on the brows. So, she has like a very pretty smoky brown and black eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows first guys, speed this part up, and then we'll hit the eyeshadow next. And so I'm just concealing my eyes, I forgot to say, with the Benefit Boing Concealer. And it is in the color number four. Now we're going to move to the eyeshadow. And what I'm going to be using for my eyeshadow is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. And I'm going to dip into the shade Isabel. dip into a darker shade called Violetta with the same brush just cause like you know it's not supposed to look perfect it's just supposed to look like um, very warm smoky so I'm just using the same brush and I'm not going too dark
she just has kind of like a goldish bronzy color on her lids so I'm taking the shade Kim and I'm covering my lids with that all right now we're gonna move on to the face and this is my matte and poreless foundation in the shade 335 and I'm not gonna take a lot just a little bit just so I can have some coverage I'm gonna take that on my real technique sponge concealer this is the makeup revolution concealer in the shade c 9.2 with my derma blend um, banana powder the rest of my face my l'oreal true match powder and this is in the color classic tan that's what it looks like and i'm just gonna take down like a fluffy brush and go ahead and pat that into my skin contour it's more of like a bronzer taking my morphe glamour bronze cutting my cheeks of mascara curl our lashes she doesn't have like crazy lashes so i'm just gonna do my natural ones today go ahead and coat my lashes And then her lips, I believe she just has, yep, like a brown, brownie, glossy lip. So I'm going to take my brown lip liner. I'm going to take a little bit of my gloss. This is Ulta Lip Pumping Gloss. So that's the look guys but this is the finished look you guys
guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, tell me which part you liked about the video. Do you like the makeup? Do you like the hair? What do you think I should have done different? If you have anything to say, just leave a comment because if you do leave a comment, subscribe, you'll be entered in my giveaway and you'll also give me feedback. Again, I'm a beginning YouTuber. Support me. Support black owned businesses. Subscribe to my channel. Shop my lashes down below. If you comment and subscribe, you'll be able to win a pair of free lashes. So, I really love Tiana Taylor. I love her music. She's so pretty. Her body's bomb. And I really like her music. Um, Rose in Harlem and love me oh you're gonna love me you're gonna wanna hold me and squeeze me <laughs> i love that song okay so yeah that one um how you want it i really just like her music so she dropped this look for her album release party as soon as she dropped it which was today i was like i gotta film that because she she killed it so her look her hair her makeup her um one piece and it was like it said justice for i believe george floyd you know and her background was um um you know justice for the black lives who have been lost so i loved that um because you know she came out with music but she's still supporting the movement with everything that's going on i'm looking forward to her um album if you guys um like these transformation videos then go ahead and subscribe for more like this video give me a comment show me you know what you liked about the video um, shout out to Tiana Taylor. As soon as I seen this look, I was like, I have to do it. Um, you know, it's not exactly the same like hers. I don't have like the yellow, the gold, like goldish yarn that was around her hair. But that's okay because, you know, it's a transformation. It's my video, my version of it. But yeah, I love this look. I hope you guys like how I um, did this look, my version of it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. Shout out to Tiana Taylor. I love her so much. I hope she sees this video. Um, I'm going to be tagging her on Instagram, you guys. So, tag her. If you guys follow her, leave her a comment. Be like, Lexi XOXO, did your look? Just tag me in it below. My Instagram is down. Links below if you guys don't know it. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.